Samhain. Samhain. The correct way to pronounce the name of the ancient Celtic end of summer slash beginning of winter festival from which our modern holiday of Halloween was spawned is, quote, Samhain, with sow as in female pig. End quote. That's according to Irish pagan author Lara O'Brien. And for what it's worth, the website pronounceitright.com concurs with the sow isn't female pig approach to Samhain pronunciation. Granted, the site opts for a slightly different phonetic spelling, S-A-U-I-H-N, Sawin, versus O'Brien's S-O-W-W-E-N, Sawen, but the end result is nearly the same. Sawin, Sawen, either option is better than Samhain, which, if you've been pronouncing it that way, you've been doing it wrong. One of the four so-called cross quarter day festivals, the others being Imbolc, Beltany, and Lunasa, Samhain was of such importance to the Gaelic aka Goidelic speaking Celts that the word itself became ingrained in the language. As O'Brien notes, Samhain is quote, a word that has a huge cultural and historical foundation as well as a place in modern spoken Irish language as the calendar word for the month of November, end quote. She goes on to argue that deliberately mispronouncing Samhain when you know the correct pronunciation is just a few clicks away is disrespectful to Irish culture. Quote, you don't get to just take someone else's heritage and language and change the pronunciation because it's how you've always said it. Don't do that. Out of all the pagan festivals, this one is most specifically rooted in Irish traditions and is perhaps the most bastardized by modern culture around Halloween. End quote. So for all of my fellow non-Irish speakers, let's show some respect this Samhain season, shall we? Let's work on perfecting our Samhain pronunciation. Syllable by Syllable Samhain Pronunciation Guide. The first syllable of Samhain we already covered, sow, like a female pig. The second syllable is, according to pronounceitright.com, quote, pronounced somewhat midway between an I and an E sound, end quote. This explains the discrepancy between the site's phonetic spelling of Samhain, sow in, and O'Brien's, sow when. The English alphabet can't provide the precise sound that is needed, so choices have to be made. The Irish film critic Brian Lloyd, for example, chose differently. He maintains that sow un is the proper pronunciation. Sawin. You pronounce it sow un. Say it again, sow un, he wrote in an article for entertainment.ie. The article was in response to the Netflix series The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina's constant mispronunciation of Sawin. As Lloyd noted, quote, Irish people and pagans who know how to pronounce Sawin have been enjoying how the series regularly butchered the word, end quote. Now, on to the third syllable of Samhain. Yes, you heard me correctly. In another variation of the phonetic spelling of Samhain, one that attempts to make up for the lack of the English alphabet's dexterity, one adds a Spanish enya to the end of the word. Thus, Samhain becomes Samhainya. To quote pronounceitright.com, adding that sound, the pronunciation of Samhain becomes Samhainya, where the y is basically just the initial pronunciation of the y. It resembles a shorter enya sound like the word piñata. So if you you pronounce the N in in as Enya, but stopping midway through it, you achieve the proper pronunciation of Samhain in Irish, which would equate to Sawinya. end quote. Regional Variations in Samhain Pronunciation So far we've focused on the Irish pronunciation of Samhain, but it turns out the first results Google spits out when I search for how to pronounce Samhain are the British and American pronunciations. S-O-W-N Saun for British English and S-A-A-W-N Saun for American English. Weird that Google displays these two phonetic spellings in its little header widget thingy, but not an Irish one, but I digress. Regional variations in the pronunciation of Samhain also occur within Ireland. The online dictionary and language library developed by Forrest na Gwelga in parallel with the New English Irish Dictionary Project provides three distinct pronunciations. There are audio clips, FYI, so these forthcoming phonetic spellings are my best guess interpretations of what I heard. Ulster, S-A-H-W-I-N, Sawin. Connacht, S-O-U-N, Sound, like sound without the D. Munster, S-O-W-I-N, Sawin. The Scottish Gaelic pronunciation of Sawin. Seven. Finally, the Scots have, quote, their own pronunciation stuff going on, end quote, according to O'Brien. She's alluding to the fact that the Scottish word for Samhain, Savin, is pronounced with a slight V sound at the start of the second syllable. So in Scottish Gaelic, Samhain is pronounced Savin. This according to a Scottish Gaelic speaker who went on to note that the MH in Savin is pronounced somewhere between a V and a W, whereas it's pretty much completely a W in Irish, Samhain.
end quote. So there you have it, a probably too in-depth look at the proper way to pronounce Samhain. Although recently I was listening to Philip Freeman's audiobook Celtic Mythology, and he was pronouncing it like Shawin? So who knows, maybe I'll be back next Samhain, Shawin, with a new pronunciation guide. And hey, because this is such a short video, I'm not going to do my usual like and subscribe spiel. Instead, I'll just say if you want to learn more about Samhain, grab a copy of my book Samhain in your pocket, a tiny little book about the Celtic origins of Halloween. A text version of this pronunciation guide is included in the book, and there are also chapters on the history history of Samhain and how Samhain inspired all of our favorite Halloween traditions like carving jack-o'-lanterns, bobbing for apples, and going trick-or-treating. My name is I.E. Neverday, editor of the short story collection Neon Druid and creator of IrishMyths.com. Thanks for coming out.